name is Matt. And in this video, we're going to be doing the Assault on the Violet Hold dungeon, which is the Violet Hold version that is in the Legion expansion. Um, I know that pretty much uh, the last several expansions have had a version of Violet Hold, um, but uh, the Legion one actually is a little tougher, um, I've found, uh, than some of the other ones, which are quite easy. Like I just did the Wrath one as I was leveling here. But essentially what you're going to get um, when you do Violet Hold here is obviously it's Legion, so it's going to be demon-based. And uh, you're going to get portals, and mobs are going to come out of the portals until um, until you get a boss. And there will be, I think, three bosses, if I remember correctly, guys. You just burst your way through, and um, everything's pretty simple. What's kind of fun about this dungeon is there's a bit of randomness, because behind all these little kind of purple doors um, are different bosses. So which one you get is random... Uh, when the dungeon is spawned, so if you run this a couple times, you usually get different sets of bosses to try. So that's kind of cool. I didn't even see there was other ads back there. I would have been doing my AoEs. Like I said, last time I ran this one, I noticed it actually had a little higher difficulty level than some of the other dungeons here. As you see, there's ground effects. This isn't even a heroic. Um, usually you don't get these things for the ranged in the back. There's ground effects, there's multiple mobs, and uh, yeah, it's just a bit more fun. A little more challenge is a little more fun, you know? Okie doke, let's see. So just wait till this dude descends and opens up another one. Okay, there he goes. So you see we're at 40% to getting the first boss, or the first escaped, escaped prisoner defeated, as they call it. Ooh, that tank is taking some serious damage. There we go. We're still in good shape. Wait for the next one to come. There we go. Next pack. Almost a first boss. guys next group just trying not to stand in the bad stuff lots of disorients in here Still pretty cool, though. 80% to the first boss. You guys will see the pace is done really nice. You kind of don't have to wait for each mob pack to walk out. Keeps them coming pretty quick. Okay, first boss we're going to get is going to be Lord Malgath. Or, I'm sorry, Lord Malgath is the summoner. We're going to get Maleficent Mana Storm. These Mana Storms causing trouble. Sword and Shield she's got. So I'm guessing a warrior. Let's see what we got.
We don't know these bosses too well, so we're going to try to figure it out together here, guys. Okay, here we go. 35%. Okay, right, there we go. Avoid the bombs, I'm guessing. Here we go, 10%, guys, we got her. And you get a stun right before the end. See where she's running off to. She bailed. Okay, we got her, guys. Oh, a little chest. My pet's still going after her. Okay. No loot off of that one, guys. Next one coming down. Let's see. Okay. So what they'll do is, in between each ro boss rotation, as you guys are doing this, they will... Um, They'll wait a little bit, and then they'll pull out the next boss. It's supposed to give you time to heal up. Nobody really runs Oom anymore. Um, but uh, in Wrath, these are kind of cool because you get Core Hounds and all kinds of other stuff that pop. Let's see what kind of boss we get here. What kind of mob set? Okay. It's kind of hard to see too if you need to AOE here. It looks like a single mob. Before though, there was other mobs back behind that, so we'll see. Yeah, they're back there. Just kind of separated funny. There we go, now they're coming together. For those of you that are have good AOE classes. Okay. So way more ground effects than I've seen in almost any other um, five man. It's all good though. It's not like debilitating damage or anything. mad at me. Disengage up to this mob and hopefully he follows and the tank can pick him up. There we go. Okay, 40% guys. Let's see where they're going to spawn another one. Up here, it looks like, again. Wait for the tank to pick them up. There's the demon hunter. We got it. Oop, ground effects. Pretty cool graphics as far as just being a five man though too. Overall, like I said, this one is definitely pretty far advanced I'd say, but all the Legion dungeons are really well done. Like if you look at the incredible scale and the graphics on Notharian's Lair or Halls of Valor, uh, Legion was just a fantastic expansion for how they did the dungeons. Far superior even, uh, I think, to BFA. Okay, one more mob set and we've got second boss guys. 
get up here so we can actually get line of sight. There we go. Okay. Next boss is going to pull up. We'll see who we get. It's going to go over here. It looks like to Mind Flayer Kalari. Yep, he's the one. Here we go. Okay, we got more ground effects to look out for, and there are ads spawning down below by the feet there, guys, if you see it. So if you're ranged or if you're a little bit squishy like a shami or a hunter, maybe stay up here. That seems a little bit better path. There's a lot of ground clutter going on down there that I'm able to avoid by staying up here. If you're the tank, maybe spin him this way towards where the portal was, where his door was, so that you don't get all this stuff on the ground for the group. Woo! All right. He's down. Okay. Last, um, last one, guys. So at the end in Wrath of the Lich King, you had Sindragosa. So you went... And it was Blood Elf turned into a big dragon at the end. So I'm trying to remember if you fight a large demon or if you fight a dragon at the end of this one. But because Legion is super demon themed, I'm guessing that it's another demon. It's been a minute, so I don't really remember this one since I went through. Okay, up here we go. Try not to sprint up here too much. Give the tank. Uh, tank a second to pick these mobs up. Tank is misdirected anyway, so I can pull pretty early. Again, little hidden mobs here for the AOE. They did not see. In Wrath of the Lich King, this is down where they used to pull that water boss out. They despise that boss. You'd break into a bunch of little pieces. And then uh, you'd have to chase all the bubble pieces down and kill them. With the AoE grip, kind of a Gorfian's Grass type of ability. It's pretty cool to see lower level mobs in dungeons just do this stuff so you can kind of get a chance to play on the mechanics rather than just being like an instant death from the boss. Okay. 46% guys, we're on our way. So no matter which version you're doing, if you're doing Violet Hold for Wrath or if you're doing Assault on the Violet Hold for Legion, um, either one it's going to be like... Four or five mob packs, boss times three. So overall, it's just going to be um, an opportunity for you to work your way through all the trash. Um, Wrath of the Lich King has really good skinning in this dungeon. You can get Arctic furs and a bunch of stuff. Um, no skinning in this one, obviously, because it's demon mobs. It's not anything skinnable. Okay, so maybe two more pulls, guys, and then the last boss. Ooh, tank has not picked these up yet, so I got Schmagro. There we go.
Rooted is just fine by me as long as I'm not in direct damage. pull it is or is that it we got Lord Malgath himself is that all there was to it I do not recall so I'm not gonna lust on this one because I'm not sure if he's the last boss some ad traffic to pick up. I don't think he's the last boss. This would be too easy for how the rest of the dungeon has gone, I think. Okay, now, now we got the commander coming. That's what I figured. I was going to say that seemed too easy for our last boss. There he is. Sailoron is last boss. And here we go. Go big, pop all your coolies. Wow, look at the graphics. There's the venom spray. Don't get caught in it like I just did. Some pretty massive AoE poison damage. And you've also got kind of a netting thing going on here to slow you down, hamstring you a little bit. Okay, we got her halfway. I think at least it looks like a her. It's a scary demon thing. I don't know what it is, guys. percent execute phase going big all right that was the assault on the violet hold guys uh, overall timer for that one is 17 minutes 19 seconds um, pretty easy just a lot of ground effects to watch out for uh, if you guys like that one please hit the like button subscribe hit the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I drop a future video on another dungeon and uh, Thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light in the Darkness signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.